Greetings, humanity. Uh, I am Jim, and I am returning to Shard Light in an effort to uh, try to progress the plot somewhat. It's been a little bit. Um, I haven't played it at all this year. But this is the first video game I'm playing this year, I think. Ah, lungs. Anyway, um, yeah, no. Uh, I think we're. Uh, I think we're good. Um, in a bit of time, we have our friendly crow friend. We have we have our fr crow friend here with the glowing red eyes. I I'm gonna have to remember where we were, <laughs> what we were, where we were, and what we were doing. I have a slight sense of it, if only because. Um, I did go back and watch the tail end of what we were doing. We were given a mission. That's right, we're, we're trying to be a double agent. Um, for these folks uh, who uh, we're supposed to report on the Ministry, who is uh, wants us to report on these people. And, and so there's, there's a lot of stuff happening. A somewhat crude map of the city. Looks like they're planning something near the Ministry of Energy Tower. There's a bunch of stuff scribbled on it. She looks like she means business. I think we've already gone through the entirety of the conversation no tree with Danton. No more time for idle chat now, Amy. Get to Fripp Square and find Silas Harrison. Well, that tells us what we're doing. Um, looks like she's writing down coordinates on that map. I shouldn't interrupt. She's hard at work. Yes, goodness knows we wouldn't want to learn more information. Um, let me see. We have a bucket, a pistol, a crossbow, and a lottery ticket. And that's going to be for the... Uh, that's going to be for something... Actually, I'm sorry. Excuse me just a moment. Ah! Lungs. I have to deal with the lung thing. Hang on. <laughs> ah... Uh, the, the joy of breathing like a human. Hang on just a second. Why and how do humans breathe again? I forget. It is a strange practice. I, uh, I rarely remember to do it, but I, I seem to do it a lot, nevertheless. All right. What's happening? They must use this for target practice. The wig and noose are a nice touch. Can I turn this up a little bit? Can you folks hear it okay? Do you think? We can, uh... I can. I can if it will help. Turn it up just a wee bit. She's really good. I've never seen someone's hands move so quickly. I can just turn it up on my own personal volume. I don't want to break her concentration. Nope. He's doing a nice job fixing that crossbow. Is that an Ellen wrench? Yep. Scavenged it out in the waste. I got lucky. I'll say you did. I've been looking for one for ages. Can let you borrow this one once I'm done with it, if you need it. Ooh. There's an Allen wrench in our future. Remember to wipe your feet when entering. There are no maids in this resistance. He seems to be hard at work on something. Looks like a radio. Need any help with that? Nah, I'm all right. He's busy. I'll yeah. leave him alone. You, you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Those don't look too comfortable. He's sound asleep. Nice to know things are relaxed enough around here that he can do that. I don't want to wake him. Now is not the time for a nap. 
I think it's meant for target practice, not boxing. Tough looking guy. I wouldn't want to get on his bad side. Hey. What do you want? What's your theory on what's inside the Ministry of Medicine? Knowing the aristocracy, it could be just about anything. But from what I've heard Danton say, it's definitely something big. Yeah. Keep on doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I believe we're supposed to go and impersonate a doctor and find out what's there. Those don't look too comfortable. She doesn't look very friendly. She can't speak. We know. Oh, right. That, remind, that reminds me. Let me find it here. Let me just turn on the content warnings. There we go. Just in case. Let me turn it on on my alternate screens as well, so we will have it available. Good, good. Okay. Well, head to the exit. Loud. No need to mess around with it anymore. No need to mess around with it anymore. Poor Clem. I can't imagine he gets much business holed up in this alley. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, Amy. Apparently not much yeah, is happening. I can't afford to break Clem's merchandise. I'm not interested in this stuff. I've got my mother's old set at home. Okay. Sale. Definitely not Clem's. He hasn't had a sale in years. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Do. Good day to you, merchant. Go away, you dog. I have nothing to say to you. Now, now, there's no need to be. I just try to make my living here. I have family to take care of and no help from the aristocracy. Well, if you would just let me... My brother Pavel went out scavenging days ago and has not returned. We're all worried he's dead. What does the aristocracy do? Nothing. Sit in their towers and watch us starve. You are young. You do not remember life before the bombs. It was different. Guards were our friends, not monsters. I appreciate your position, but... Look, I think it's best if you just go. She's clearly upset. Fine. I was here to extend an offer of food vouchers from the Ministry of Resources. But if she feels that way, it's her loss. Good day to you, citizen. I apologize for upsetting you. Oh, thank you, Amy. I always get so angry when I see those guards. Ah. It really is a nice day to be out in the market. Marishka always seems to have food to sell, and is always trying to feed me. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! You really shouldn't make trouble with the guards. I'm not making trouble. It's them who are causing all the problems. You know, as well as I do, you haven't got a brother named Pavel. Well, they need to understand that life's not easy for us. It's not like they do anything about it anyway. Just try not to get so riled up, Marishka. He was trying to help you out. The day I take help from those dogs is the day I die. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? It really is a nice day to be out in the market. I haven't got anything to say. Okay. I keep wondering if there's like other stuff we need to do before we head uh, head to the square. I've known Gus since we were kids. 
I'm glad he decided to stick with his family. And we've already had all that? Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. See you later, Gus. You bet. Just checking in to see if there's anything left. Uh, excuse me? May I help you? I really should be going. So be it. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? I Goodbye, say, Amy. Come back Goodbye. anytime. Let me just let you say that code code phrase to anybody. But you haven't said it to yet. Okay, we're heading to the square. This handle siphons the water up from the ground and into the well. I keep wondering about this. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I'll see you later, Nelson. I look forward to your return. This is the square, right? This, this is a reminder that the Ministry of Medicine will continue conducting weekly screenings for green lung. That seems good. And he's probably in on it. So we could use the phrase with him. That might be a thing we could do, but um, I guess we'll figure out if um, maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Cathedral of St. Stephen, Ministry of Medicine, Rip Square. Okay, yeah, a different place. Okay. We are supposed to head to the square of Fripp. Ah, Fripp Square. I do so love the dirty looks I get from people when I walk through here. Hmm. This poster is encouraging people to get vaccinated for green lung. If only it were that easy for everyone. Yes, in this world, they're, they're actively hoarding a vaccine. That's a pretty dramatic statue. I guess that must be the eponymous Mr. Fripp. The Ministry of Knowledge. It's where they keep all the documents and educational materials from before the bombs. Extremely limited access, of course. Amen. You know, I have to admit, this one is kind of cute. Are they ravens? Or are they not crows? I forget. That's the tiniest raven I've ever seen. Are you sure that's not a crow? No, it is the ravens. This is aren't the they? intersection of Jordan Street and Booth Avenue. Yeah. I foolishly referred to it to, to the to the raven at the beginning as a crow. This guy's picked a very strategic location. That raven makes the statue look a lot classier. It is delightful that you can click on each one of them. Wow, a 2003 fairway debutante. I'm surprised it's still intact. Most of these were gutted for parts and metal in the years after blast day. <laughs> I love it. They stop whispering when you go when you get close. Did no one teach you that it's rude to stare? Ugh, please stop staring at me. Keep staring. <gasps> oh no! How dare you! How dare you! Yep, we're gonna need to delete them. 
Going forward. This guy is the local news delivery system for the residents of Fripp Square. How dare they? Hello there. May I help you with something? So you're a town crier? What do you actually do? I deliver the news to the people of Fripp Square. They ask about specific headlines, I tell them. Some sort of breaking news arrives from the government, I read it. It's rather simple, really. Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy restarts generators. Terrorists rumored in the market district. Mysterious object spotted over quarantine zone. And the weather report. So, what'll it be? Good lord. There are many things. Let's see. Okay. How about Ministry of Energy restarts generators? Fine. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. The Ministry of Energy released a report saying that they have succeeded in restarting 60% of the city's reactors. As a result, more power will be available, starting with the area around Fripp Square. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. I mean, didn't, didn't we? Weren't we responsible for restarting that? Uh... Okay. Hello there. May I... Have you heard the name Silas Harrison? I have, yes. He's fairly well known around these parts. Can you tell me anything about him? Like, where he lives? Lady, I'm a town crier, not a town directory. If you want to put your nose where it don't belong, you're better off talking to Flora and Genevieve on the other side of the square. Ah. Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy restarts generators. Terrorists rumored in the market district. Mysterious object spotted over quarantine zone. And the weather report. So, what'll it be? I want to hear terrorists rumored in the market district. If you wish. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. Just gonna announce Rumors it. have surfaced of a group of terrorists headquartered somewhere in the market district. These dissidents are to be considered armed and extremely dangerous to public safety. Anyone with information leading to their arrest is encouraged to report to the nearest aristocrat guard. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. So, you know, it now makes sense why it is that uh, you, you hear these same announcements over and over again. It's because people just keep coming and coming up and asking him to do them. Hello there. May I? Can I hear some? Very well. Right now, the Minister Terror Mysterious and so. I'd like to hear mysterious objects spotted over quarantine zone. Right you are. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. This past week, several citizens reported sighting a strange object in the sky over the quarantine zone. Rumors have persisted that it was the Reaper. However, the Ministry of Knowledge insists that this is not the case. The aristocracy reminds citizens not to be swayed by baseless rumors and superstitions. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Hello there. May I... Can I hear... Very well. Right now, the time... Ministry of Terror... Mis and so... What's the weather report? You'll soon find out. Uh -huh. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. Weather conditions are as follows. Partly cloudy with a 0% chance of rain. Today's high will be 24 degrees Celsius and the low will be 20. Uh -huh. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. I, I see they've abandoned freedom units. I mean, this is... That's... That. That guy is the one who's, who, who we're looking for, right? It's It's gotta be, right? I mean, I would assume. Just scroll all the way down if you want to delete things from that long ago. I 
Make sure we spell it right. Okay. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Oh. Where did you come from? She looks like she just came from the quarantine zone. Don't be silly. You know nobody ever leaves that awful place. In any case, I'm sure you've got a lottery job you should be doing. Why don't you run along and leave us to our conversation? <laughs> Which reminds me, I need some new servants. Oh my god. I guests the other day and they kept interrupting. Good help just keeps getting harder to come by. He looks fairly lost in thought. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? I'm Amy Wellard. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Amy. My name is Maximilian Huber, but please call me Max. Do you live around here? Yes, just around the corner, but ever since my wife passed, I like to get out of the house and spend time with my friends. Your friends? Yes, the Ravens. <laughs> ah, excellent. So, how much time do you spend with your friends? Not all day, but most of it. They are beautiful creatures, aren't they? How those Reaper cultists have turned them into a symbol of fear is beyond me, but to each his own, I suppose. I only wish I had something to feed them with. The poor things look terribly hungry. What do they eat? Anything, really. Meat, vegetables, insects. They're not picky eaters by any means. I'm looking for Silas Harrison. Do you know him? Know him? Not personally, but I know who he is, certainly. You wouldn't happen to know where he lives, would you? I'm afraid not. I never had any cause to pay him any social calls at his home. My apologies. Do you know the two women over there? They're kind of rude. Them? Oh, don't pay them any mind. They're just a couple of harpies who have nothing better to do with harpies. gossip about everything. You should hear them any time the newsman reads out a headline. It's non-stop chatter. But please, let's mm. discuss something more worthwhile, shall we? Hmm. Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. Like, it could be him, but uh, we don't know. Do, 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 do. So we can shoot one of the raven. No! The infuriating thing. <laughs> just the... Just the sound coming off of these. Just like the sound coming off of these... These ladies. too modern for my needs. Plus, I don't think the people around here would take too kindly to scavengers. There's no way I can just walk in there. I'd have to fill out heaps of paperwork and probably wait years for an appointment. We can, can we offer them a bucket? We could shoot them. My trusty crossbow. I've got one bolt. You only have one bolt. I think there was another location that opened up, so that's the only other thing I can think of. Hello there. May I help you with something? Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy, terrorists rumored in the mysterious objects and the weather. So. It's a question of maybe of uh, just getting him to say something and then going over there. I don't know. Perhaps. Nothing, actually. Well, why'd you ask to hear a story then? Get a move on. Before I start doing weird poking around type things, let me check some things. We've been to the cathedral. That's where the, the Raven Cult is. We have not been to the Ministry of Medicine.
Must be some kind of checkpoint for visitors. Doesn't look like it would be very comfortable in there. He looks kind of bored. That's a nice statue, although the base looks a bit unstable. The main entrance to the Ministry of Medicine. I have to find a way in there. The neighborhood gets way less fancy up the road. The guard has the door closed. Something tells me that's a good thing. He looks kind of bored. Must be some kind of checkpoint. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? Could you tell me about this building, sir? You don't get out much, do you? This is the Ministry of Medicine. They're in charge of all health-related issues in the city. So, this is where people come to get their vaccines? Correct. Entry is by appointment only, I'm afraid. I kind of figured as much. You know someone named Silas Harrison? Silas Harrison? The name sounds familiar. But then, I see plenty of names on a daily basis. I have to write the name of all scheduled appointments here in my ledger. He might have the address. Don't suppose I could have a peek at your ledger? Afraid not, miss. This is for government eyes only. And, not to be rude, but you don't look like a government employee to me. Keep up the good work. Have a nice day, miss. So there are a few possible things that come to mind here. One is, you know, show up looking like a government employee. Going in there while the guard is around would get me in major trouble. Another would be finding just some way to uh, get him to leave. Um, good question. Hmm. Hmm. They're just sort of wandering around, seeing if things are different. And wandering around, using the magic phrase on people. anymore. I need to figure some things out. What do you want? Keep on doing. Mm. No, nope, nothing else it's... there. No more time for idle chat now, Amy. Get to Fripp Square and find Silas Harrison. All right. He's busy. Still using that Allen wrench? All right. So the only thing I can think of is to start randomly saying the passphrase to people. Um, actually, there is one other thing I can think of. Did they take... You know, there's a place no longer on the map here. We can't go back to the, uh... It looks like we can't go back to the Ministry of Energy. 
Interesting. Curious. Okay, so that, I mean, that was part of my plan, but alas, I cannot do that plan now. So, um, yeah. Back to square zero. Hello there. May I help you with something? Can I hear some? Very well. Right now, Ministry of Terrorists, Mysterious Object, and the Web. So. I'd like to hear. Right, you are. Attention, citizens. The following is an important news bulletin. This past week, several citizens reported sighting a strange object in the sky over the quarantine zone. Rumors have persisted that it was the Reaper. However, the Ministry of Knowledge insists that this is not the case. The aristocracy reminds citizens not to be swayed by baseless rumors and superstitions. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. I'd rather not get too close. The pistol is only slightly damaged. It hasn't got any bullets, but the flintlock mechanism still looks like it works. Should be useful if I need to light anything on fire. Right. I don't normally condone doing this kind of thing. I'm not planning to shoot the animal. That's Nero's banner. He's in charge of the Ministry of Knowledge. My plan is to, uh, is to scare it. I don't think it would appreciate that. I don't, I don't think. Okay, so that's not the answer. I'd rather not get too close. Ugh. <laughs> would you like a bucket? I don't think he'd be interested in that. He does not want a bucket. I don't think she'd be interested in that. I'd sooner cut off my own tongue before speaking to those snobs again. I'm not picking up those ladies' garbage. Oh, hey. It's a small waste bin. It appears to be almost full to the brim. I don't want to throw that away. No, not what I was planning, but okay. <laughs> you just start talking as soon as you get further away. I don't know, because the only other thing I can think of, it's like to have him read out a news item and then to have them react to it, but... I don't know what the deal is. So I think, honestly, the only thing I can do at this point is to try out the passphrase. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. I think I saved it, but I'm going to go ahead and save it again. Excuse me. Hello, miss. Oh. You know, it's days like these that make me realize I've got the perfect life. That's a lovely attitude to have, my dear. Your optimism is inspiring. Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. Okay, so, not him. I, I want to be careful. I want to be careful. Who I actually use that phrase with. I can't just go around shooting everything I see. I have to conserve ammo. I know. I can't just go... I don't think that would be a good idea. Mmm. It's getting dangerous now. There's no way I can just walk in there.
This poster is encouraging people to get vaccinated for green lung. If only it were that easy for everyone. There's something I'm missing. Would you I like a bucket? Something newsworthy. I'm not sure how I could. My cast iron bucket. I don't think that's. Ugh. The news gets blasted out of those things for everyone to hear. I can't think of anything I could do with that. Well. There is now a lot of wandering around that is happening because I gotta figure out what to do with this. Like, this is the place. Hello there. May I? Can I hear some? Very well. Right now, Ministry of Terror, Mr. And the so. I wanna hear. If you wish. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. Rumors have surfaced of a group of terrorists headquartered somewhere in the market district. These dissidents are to be considered armed and extremely dangerous to public safety. Anyone with information leading to their arrest is encouraged to report to the nearest aristocrat guard. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. I'd sooner cut off my own. Mm-hmm. I don't think she'd be interested in that. I don't think I can load them. I can't just go around shooting people. You can't? I don't think he'd be interested in that. My cast. I don't think he'd be interested in that. Okay. I need something to feed the ravens. Either that or I have to try to use the, the passphrase on a bunch of people. Which in and of itself is a terrible idea. But, you know, it's it may be all we have left. Okay, do we... So I guess the question is because now... Okay, we, we can't go to the farm anymore. The farm is closed to us. So that, I guess, is not part of the solution. Let's see. I'm gonna figure out something that will either draw this guard away or will Yeah. Or will help with some things. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm at a point I'm thinking I'm just going to randomly start saying the passphrase to people. Gus never has all that much in stock, but even this seems like a measly selection. I don't think he can actually purchase meat from, uh, from him. I think they... Just could... No. There. Oh, okay. Maybe I can. Have you got any meat I could feed ravens with? Ravens? Why would you want to feed those little pests? I feel bad for them. Everyone deserves to eat. Well, they're plenty fat from eating the dead sheep at the farm. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to help feed those little monsters. See you later, Gus. You bet. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe I'm onto something. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello. Do you have any vegetables a raven might like to eat? Ravens? Yes, I see them around my garden all the time. They love my alfalfa sprouts. Have you got any for sale? Sure, but take this bag. On the house. Are you sure? Yes, 
I owe you after helping me with the guard. It's the least I can do. Thanks. Aha. Uh -huh. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? It's full of alfalfa sprouts. A second. Excuse me, sir. I got this bag of alfalfa sprouts. You know, so you can feed the birds. Thank you. This will certainly make the birds pleased. I probably shouldn't mess around with that. Oh dear, you frightened them. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. Those flying rats just knocked the waste bin over. Oh, the smell. Disgusting. I hope a street cleaner comes to clean it up. Seriously. Oh, you know what? Here, let me try something else. There's a combo here. Maybe. Hello there. May I help you with something? Can I hear some- Very well. Right now, Minister Terrorist, Mysterious Op, and the web- So. I'd like to- Right you are. Attention citizens! The following is an important news bulletin. This past week, several citizens reported sighting a strange object in the sky over the quarantine zone. Rumors had persisted that it was the Reaper. However, the Ministry of Knowledge insists that this is not the case. The aristocracy reminds citizens not to be swayed by baseless rumors and superstitions. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Oh, never mind. Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. The raven knocked over the bin. It spilled garbage all over the street. Okay. Well, it's about time someone came. Now, what was that you were saying, Genevieve? Do you believe in the Reaper, Flora? Goodness, no. That's just a bedtime story to scare children. I don't know. The other day, I could have sworn I saw a raven with red eyes staring at me. Really, Jenny? I wouldn't have expected you to be the superstitious type. Please, let's talk about something else. Dang it. All right, hang on. Before this, get off me, Kunda. Hello there. May I? Can I hear something? Oh boy. Right now, Ministry Terror Mystery and the So. Uh. Yeah, let's try that terrorists one. Terrorists rumored in the market district. If you wish. Attention, citizens. The following is an important news bulletin. Rumors have surfaced of a group of terrorists headquartered somewhere in the market district. These dissidents are to be considered armed and extremely dangerous to public safety. Anyone with information leading to their arrest is encouraged to report to the nearest aristocrat guard. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Excuse me, sir. Anything. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. <laughs> Subterfuge. <gasps> over again, little monsters. Why doesn't Tiberius just have them shot to extinction? No. No, that's not a bad idea. They should make that a lottery job immediately. Ah, 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 ah. 
It's terrifying to think that there would be such awful people out there wishing harm on us. Oh, I know. I can't imagine how I'll be able to sleep tonight. Though I suppose there's something to be said for six inches of reinforced steel walls. Really? Okay. Tells us nothing! Nothing! Sorry. Hello there. May I? Can I hear some very right mint terror mystery? And so. Um. What's the weather? You'll soon. Attention citizens! The following is an important news bulletin. Weather conditions are as follows. Partly cloudy with a 0% chance of rain. Today's high will be 24 degrees Celsius and the low will be 20. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. I have no idea if that's going to be helpful, but we'll see. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That little... You're right. I don't believe this. They're back again. <laughs> you don't suppose... No, it can't be. <laughs> a sign. Don't be silly, Genevieve. Those are just superstitions. We're going to sit calmly and let someone clean this mess up. You're gonna notice. <laughs> ah, I see. Hello. Hello, Unstable Dance. Telling me to think of the poor people without a private army to protect them. Yes. I know, right? <laughs> Lovely day today, but I can't wait until the temperature drops a bit and I can wear my fur coat. Oh, yes. I had one made up, which I cannot wait to debut. I think you'll be jealous. Oh, no doubt I will be. I always admire your sense of style. Okay, yeah. That was, that was as useless as I expected. And try one more news story and see what that gets them talking about. Hello there. May I help you with? Can I hear? Very well. Right now, Ministry of Terrorists, Mysterious Object, and the web. So. How about? Fine. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. The Ministry of Energy released a report saying that they have succeeded in restarting 60% of the city's reactors. As a result, more power will be available, starting with the area around Fripp Square. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. This is a real arse to elbow way to get somebody's address, I just have to say. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, miss. Yep. That little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. I don't believe this. They're back again. You don't suppose? No, it can't be. A sign. Don't be silly, Genevieve. Those are just superstitions. We're going to sit calmly and let someone clean this mess up. And if this tells me nothing, then uh, there is one more thing we can try. Uh, we'll see. I, for one, am glad that we'll be getting more power. I haven't been able to use my curling iron in weeks. Oh, boy. Uh, I know. It's just disgusting. Why they don't just reroute power from the quarantine zone is beyond me. I mean, it's not as if those people will be needing it for much longer. Oh, Flora, that is an awful thing to say. Maybe, but it doesn't make it any less true. All right, that told us nothing. So here's the... <laughs> Imagine trying <laughs> Imagine trying to get someone's phone number this <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Um, okay. So that, I don't think, told us anything. But they are starting to get uh, antsy about the ravens, so I'm going to have him reread this one other story, this one story he Hello read there. first. May I help you with something? Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top ministry terrorists, mysterious and the so. I'd like to hear mysterious objects spotted over quarantine zone. Right you are. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. This past week, several citizens reported sighting a strange object in the sky over the quarantine zone. Rumors have persisted that it was the Reaper. However, the Ministry of Knowledge insists that this is not the case. The aristocracy reminds citizens not to be swayed by baseless rumors and superstitions. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. 
Not to be swayed by superstitions, just as the uh, the waste bin gets knocked over for the sixth time. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. And it still is getting I no food. They're back again. You don't suppose... No, it can't be. A sign. Don't be silly, Genevieve. Those are just superstitions. We're going to sit calmly and let someone clean this mess up. This little raven is still not getting any food. <laughs> I'm very concerned. Didn't fly down at all. Do you believe in the Reaper, Flora? Goodness, no. That's just a bedtime story to scare children. I don't know. The other day, I could have sworn I saw a raven with red eyes staring at me. Really, Jenny? I wouldn't have expected you to be the superstitious type. Please, let's talk about something else. I have to give him something else to die. Jesus Christ. Ah! Ah! Okay. I do love that they, they've got them whispering as you move further away. That had no effect on what they were saying. That means I have to give him news. Of some kind. This is. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna delete some things. Good God. This, this is. I, I don't know what else to provide. Okay. Okay, let's see. Well, there's here, there's this. Hello there. May I help you with something? I've got some news for you. I've got the perfect life. You, of all people, have the perfect life? I guess that really is news. I've got things to do. We'll talk later. Well then, don't... Hello there. May I... Can I hear... Very well. Right now, Minus Terrorists, Mysterious, and the... So. No. Nothing. Well, why... No. 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 Okay. So. This tells us nothing. Let's hop over and try fiddling with uh, the other new place. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? I just have to say, I've got the perfect life. Good for you, miss. Now please, move along. Keep up the good work. Have a nice day, miss. Well, he's not going to help us. Let me see. I don't see how I can use that there. My cast... I don't think he'd want that. <laughs> I don't see how I can use that there. <laughs> can we light this banner on fire? No, we cannot. That's a nice statue. I can't reach it. That's a nice statue. Although the base looks a bit unstable. Oh, hey. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. 
Let's hope this works. What was that? What a mess. I told them this would happen eventually. <sighs> Let's just have a look at this ledger. Here we go. Silas Harrison is being visited by a doctor this evening for a green lung treatment. Uh -huh. This information could be very important to certain people. Might be a good idea to take it with me. All right. According to this page, Silas Harrison is getting a green lung treatment this evening at sunset. It looks like he's taking his time. That's good. Anything else we need? I don't need to go back in there again. I'd better not disturb him right now. My trusty crossbow. It's out of ammo right now. Okay. So here's my thought. This is a terrible idea. I think you should have a look at this. Interesting. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. Silas Harrison, noted government philanthropist, has contracted green lung. He is due to begin medical treatment this evening. Anyone who has had contact with Harrison is advised to monitor their symptoms and to notify the Ministry <laughs> oh, of Medicine God. if they begin feeling ill. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. And just out the poor guy is having green lung. You can get at what you're looking for. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. And God. <laughs> I don't believe this. They're back again. You don't suppose... No, it can't be. A sign. Don't be silly, Genevieve. Those are just superstitions. We're going to sit calmly and let someone clean this mess up. Okay. This raven is still getting nothing! Nothing! Oh well. Can you believe Harrison kept his disease to himself? I know. I was just at his manor last week. Now I'll need to go to the ministry and get checked. Everyone on Threadson Street will. He should know better than to throw parties if he's got green lung. I'll bet his gardener gave it to him. His love of topiaries will be the death of him. Interesting. A mansion on Threadson Street with topiaries. I just hope Harrison's tastes are unique. There we go. Good God. It's like pulling teeth. teeth from a raven. Raven aren't supposed to have teeth. But darn but do they? Do they? Harrison Manor. Where's the raven doing the tooth pulling? I don't know. I'm Dr. Collins from the ministry, here to see Mr. Harrison. Of course. He's in his room. Just walk down the hall. It's the fourth door to the left. Too late, but maybe there's still a way I can get close to the doctor without being seen. Ah. Nice, even if I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Decadent. This Harrison guy is clearly doing well for himself. Fancy doors. 
Too bad they're just out of my reach. He's got quite the artist's touch. These topiaries are pretty impressive. Hard to tell from this distance, but it looks like that's the kitchen in there. Interesting. Looks like the house goes back a ways in that direction. I don't think drawing attention to myself is a good idea. All right. I can't do much with the windows from here. I don't think I'll be able to just walk right into the manor. I'll need to be a little more subtle. <laughs> ah, subtlety. I've heard of it. Hmm. A conveniently open window. This window looks into the kitchen. Looks like there's nobody upstairs. Looks like this window looks... This window looks into a bedroom. This window looks into a bedroom. Time to do a little peeping. Good evening, Mr. Harrison. What seems to be the trouble? You know damn well what the trouble is. I've got that blasted plague. Hmm. What symptoms have you been having? Last week, the coughing started. Since then, it's only gotten worse. And yesterday, I hacked up some blood. Mm. I've had a fever all of today and haven't felt like eating anything since yesterday. Not to mention, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Hmm. I see. Have you been in contact recently with anyone showing symptoms of the disease? Well, two weeks ago, I was relaxing outside in my yard when some vagrant came by to ask if I could spare any food. Well, actually, I told him I couldn't, but he became belligerent when he heard that and spat in my face. To think, a man of my stature with green lung. I can't imagine the scandal. Green lung doesn't discriminate, Mr. Harrison. It can affect anyone. So can you do anything for me, Doctor? Not to worry. You're in good hands. Your support of the Ministry of Knowledge means you'll receive only the finest care the government can offer. I'm going to give you a dose of vaccine. That should fix you up by morning. But you'll need to get another dose in about a month's time. Why can't you eggheads at the Ministry of Medicine get off your collective asses and develop a cure already? We're trying, believe me. This isn't an easy disease to cure, but the treatment works almost instantly. You'll see. So, I'm stuck getting this injection once a month for the rest of my life? I'm afraid so. Although I'm sure you'll agree that it beats the alternative. Mm, yes, well, that is true. I could be dying in the streets like those filthy mongrels in the quarantine zone. Yes, with the monthly injection, <laughs> you don't have to worry about entering the terminal phase. Let's not think about that. Oh, dreadful business, really. Let's focus on my treatment. Okay. Of course. Just hold still a moment. So you gotta win the vaccine lottery. Go. You should feel like a new man in just a few hours. Every month. Now I'm going to leave an appointment card here for you. Just bring it to the Ministry of Medicine when you're due for your next vaccine dose. Can't I send my servant to get it for me and bring it back here? The green lung vaccine is a valuable commodity, Mr. Harrison. We don't release it to just anyone. So... Can't you just come back and shoot me up when it's time? I don't want to have to go all that way. We'll see. I know you've curried favor with the aristocracy, but I'll leave the card here just in case. Okay. It's really oh, just getting his card, I guess. And I'll leave something with your butler to help you sleep. But give the vaccine a few minutes to circulate before you take it. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. Think nothing of it. Feel better, Mr. Harrison. This, this may be complex. Hmm, that card is my ticket into the Ministry, but how am I supposed to get it? Smash and grab. Damn, where is that confounded servant of mine? They're creeping up the side of the mansion. So cliche. <laughs> Brad, who needs it? Looks like there's nobody upstairs. Oh, uh, yeah. They're creeping up. Those vines are way too flimsy to support my weight. Anyway, I don't need to go upstairs. Either someone was careless, or they just enjoy a cool breeze. I can't reach it. And yet you don't need to go upstairs. 
Those vines are way too flimsy to support my weight. Anyway, I don't need to go upstairs. This is just a red herring, isn't it? I've given him a dose of vaccine. He should be back to normal by tomorrow. Oh, joy. I'm so relieved. <laughs> if it's any help, I have some sleeping pills for him. He should be ready to take them shortly. Good. At least that'll give me some more peace for a while. Soon enough, he'll start ringing that damn bell for everything again. Well, I wish you luck. I need to head back to the ministry now. Thank you, Doctor. Have a nice evening. You too. He's, he's so happy his, uh, his employer is... Getting what he needs. Those vines are way too. The window's not locked, but I can't open it while Harrison is awake. Mm hmm. I don't think drawing attention to myself is a good idea. I don't think he'd be interested in that. No? The pistol is only slightly... should be... I don't see how I... I don't see... I don't see... I don't see how I can use that there. Oh really? As I do. We're out of ammo. I mean, in theory, he's eventually gonna... I don't see how... Nice looking bird. Although... I don't see how... I don't think drawing attention to myself is a good idea. I mean, is this, are we doing the old, you know, leave and come back thing? Is that what we're doing? I guess. No, I'm not leaving yet. Apparently this not. One chance to get into the Ministry of Medicine. I'm not going to waste it. I mean, I don't think I've got anything else I can throw at this. I can't just go around shooting people. Well, especially not without any ammo. I haven't got any ammo. I haven't got Let me look in the kitchen window. I don't think I've done that yet. Ah. Huh, it's unlocked. I'm guessing this is what Harrison uses to call his servant. The bell is just out of reach. It lets you reach up there. Which is interesting. Okay, there are all manner of things to look at in here. A ladle and a wooden spoon. Standard kitchen equipment, I guess. Those towels are surprisingly clean. Guess they don't see much use. Looks like someone hasn't washed up yet. I wonder when these were made. They don't exactly look fresh. Scones! Someone made tea recently. It smells slightly fruity. I can't believe all this food is going to waste on just one person. Odd. I would have thought someone as well-to-do as Harrison would have an electric stove. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's cheaper not to. Looks like tonight's dinner is some kind of soup. Or it could be more expensive not to in its ostentatiousness. Who knows? Would you look at that? It's like a portable well. Yes, there's this thing called plumbing. This is most likely where Harrison keeps all his fancy silverware. Well, I guess we can have some of that. An odd place to store a sack of flour. I guess they must have used it recently. There's too many objects here. A variety of knives. They don't look like they've been used much. 
I wonder if he gets his from the salt flats, too. Jesus Christ. I wonder if Clem or Gordon would be interested in something like that. We just rob this man blind. I'm sure no one will notice one missing ladle. Ugh, there are snails in here. Rich people are weird. Nice and soft. This could come in handy if I decide to start up a soup kitchen. I don't think I'll be needing any more salt right now. I've already got a weapon. It's unloaded. Ah, that's nice. I haven't got time to go rifling through kitchen drawers. I'm not the maid. They look stale. I'd rather not. Erky? Well, if nobody else is gonna eat it. Hmm, a little dry, but at least it's better than nothing. Orky. That's enough for now. I'm sure they'll notice if the whole thing is gone. They might. Hmm, smells good. No time for cooking now. I'm no baker. That can stay right where it is. Okay, we have systematically gone through and tried to grab I was everything. Never much of a tea drinker. I think. So now is the time to apply the ladle to the to the bell. I I would guess. Well, that didn't do much. Great. Okay. Is that everything? Do I try to set something on fire? <laughs> I haven't... Ah, that's nice. Just feeling the water, huh? I don't see how I can use that there. I can't see any reason to lug around a heavy bucket of water. No, me neither. I don't need a wooden spoon. I don't see how I can use that there. Okay. I don't see... Mmm, <laughs> tomato. <laughs> okay. No time for cooking now. Hmm, smells good. Huh. Oh, all right. And so it begins. There we go. Just leave that other one open, why don't you? It's fine. You rang for me, sir? About ten minutes ago? What on earth took you so long? I was... Never mind the excuses. Just give me one of those sleeping pills the doctor gave you. Yes, sir. Will you be wanting it with your usual lemon and elderberry tea? That's fine. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll return shortly. Finally. I thought he'd never get to sleep. Okay. Quietly now. That card is my ticket into the Ministry of Medicine. That's a fairly big bet for someone who's sleeping alone. That kind of looks like a funeral urn. He may be a crotchety old geezer, but I can't help but feel sorry for him. Harrison must not like sleeping in the dark. Why would Harrison have a chair here? Is it for people to watch him sleep? Yes. 
So now I'm stealing an old man's only means of getting more vaccine. Yes. I really hope there's something in the ministry worth finding, Danton. That's not his only means. He's got deals, didn't? Don't you remember? Didn't you hear him say? Not a chance. Waking him up would be a very bad idea. I'd really rather not get too close. Don't you want to see what's in there? You still have the ladle. This card says that Silas Harrison is entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. Why would Harrison have a chair? I have more important things to do than watch an old man sleep. Oh, okay. That's everything here, that I, as far as I can tell. Oh, no. <clears throat> no, please. Oh, boy. Of all the times. Man, what? Who's there? Shit! Ophelia? Is that you? Well, they... They told me you were dead. Oh, my dear Ophelia. Come back to take care of me while I'm sick. I knew you would. Ophelia? Are you there, my love? Ah... <sighs> It's fine. Everything's that fine. A little too close. I don't think that would be a good idea. Set the whole thing on fire. That must be Harrison's servant. Guess that's how he copes. What's he doing? Uh, is he drinking? Hard to tell, but I think that's what he's doing. Okay. We now have the uh, the card that we can use. We'll see how this goes. Ah! Raven. Okay. Ministry of Medicine. Wish I could do there was a faster way to do this. This is when I need to go down and delete stuff. It's going to take a long time. Okay. The appointment card is for Silas Harrison, and I'm obviously not him. Yeah, this is true. I don't see how I can use that there. I guess we can give it to someone, but we're supposed to get in there somehow, so... I'm not sure how this is going to go. We need somebody to be Silas Harrison for us. think he'd be interested in that. No. No more time for idle chat now, Amy. I don't think she'd be interested in that. Oh, great. No, we gotta... Gotta do it ourselves. Need any help with that? No, I'm alright. Yeah. So using that tool? He's busy. I'll yeah. leave him alone. Alright. I 
don't think he'd... Okay. Yeah, none of them are going to help me. I'm not interested in this stuff. How's it going? Not so. See you later. Take care. I don't think he'd... You want to help us be somebody? I don't think he'd be interested. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you. I think I... Of course. Actually... As you will. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Go. Oh. Conversation trees. There we go. Uh. Coming out here, reading books, it makes me realize I've got the perfect life. Ah, I see. I do as well. It gives me pleasure to help how I can, although I'm too old to fight. What made you decide to join them? Danton makes some good points, despite being a bit overzealous. The favoritism the aristocracy showed their elite patrons after the plague began is completely inexcusable. Once the poor couldn't fund their medical research, we were quickly cast aside for those who could. Mm -hmm. Danton is brash, perhaps a bit foolish, but her ideals are what we need. So about uh, helping out. I think I'd like to read. Of course. Um. Nope. Still the same choices. Actually, as you would. But uh. I have a. I don't think he'd be interested nope. in that. Damn it! All right. This card says that Silas Harrison is entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. So can we forge a new name on the card? Do we know anyone who can do that? Ah! There is someone who can do that, I think. This is kind of a shot in the dark here, but we'll see. Hey, Denby? Yeah? I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. Denby, you mentioned before you were good at copying handwriting. There we yeah, are. Sure. There do we you are. you think you could copy this doctor's writing? Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. What do you need me to do? Change the name on this card to mine. Oh, yeah. Easy. Just give me two minutes. There you go. Hey, nice job. Thanks. Excellent. This card says that I'm entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. Denby looks right at home in here. Don't get into any trouble, Denby. I just forged a government document. <laughs> I think that's kind of impossible now. <laughs> Okay, back to this. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Is that so? I assume you have an appointment? Yes, I I've got my card right here. So you do? All right, I'll open the door for you. You'll be checked in and directed to his office. 
Enjoy your day, and I hope you feel better. Thanks. Hey, you can, can... Excuse me. What is... Keep up the... Have a nice... Yeah, just, just go in. Here goes nothing. Can she just get her evaluation? Will that do it? Uh, hello, miss. May I help you? I've got an appointment with Dr. Collins. I see. Is there a problem? Uh, well, how can I put this kindly? You don't exactly look like our normal type of visitor. What does that mean? It's just the way you're dressed. It's not typical of the people we normally see here. How exactly did you get your appointment, if I may ask? Oh, uh... Tell the truth, lie, give the password. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> uh. There are a number of things we could try here. I guess it's because I've got the perfect life. What? Is Danton stupid? Didn't she at least tell you to get a disguise? <laughs> well, she did, actually, but I found a better way. You do realize how much you stand out, right? If you try and see the doctor looking like that, they'll call security and have you escorted out. Then they'll start asking me questions about why I let you in, and things will only escalate from there. So, any ideas on how I can get a disguise? I'll have to think about it. Just don't go any further into the ministry until we figure something out. Okay. <laughs> What are those supposed to be? Is that what the wig heads look like without their masks? If so, I can see why they never take them off. It's kind of hypnotic. This looks like some kind of directory. It might be useful in getting around this place. That leads further into the ministry. Hmm. I shouldn't touch it. Looks expensive. But you want to touch it? Danton's mole. Don't know how much he'll actually be able to help me, though. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. A functioning computer, sort of. I'd like some directions, please. Please say the name of the room you would like directions to. Central Storage. One moment, please. Error. Password required. I'm sorry. You do not have proper clearance to access that information. Do you require further directions? Dr. Collins' office. One moment, please. Follow the West Wing Hallway 3 doors down, then make two rights, followed by a sharp left. It is the fourth door on the left. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. Uh -huh. Hey. What can I help you with? What's that panel used for? It's a directory. Navigating the ministry can be a bit daunting, so it's designed to ease the process. People still manage to get lost, though. I don't know why they made this place so confusing. Mm hmm Is the central storage room accessible from here? Sorry, I don't know. They keep the location secret, and I'm not at a high enough rank to have that information. So have you thought of a place to get a disguise yet? Honestly? The only place I can think of would be the staff locker room. It's just down the hall. Hopefully, you won't run into anybody on the way there. Just look it up on the directory so you know where to go. And be extremely careful. If my cover gets blown because <laughs> of you... I'll be discreet, I promise. Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Okay, so it's just basically gonna give a listen. All right. Okay. Welcome to the 
Uh, I'd like to see the, the staff locker room. One moment, please. Walk down the hall two meters, then make a left. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. I'm gonna do something foolish. No, he was right. I can't go there in this outfit. Oh, okay. Looks like one of the doctors left their coat hanging here. Attention employees, please remember to lock your valuables in the provided lockers. The ministry is not responsible for lost or stolen property. I think that goes into the showers. These lockers don't have any identifying marks on them. How are people supposed to remember which one is theirs? Looks like this cleaning cart is mainly used for storing bottles. So many things here. These lockers don't. These lock. These lockers don't have. That one's got something on it. Either security in here is lacking, or this one's just not being used. Nice to see they keep this place clean. Nice to see they. If they let me take this, then I'll have two buckets. These lockers don't have... The Ministry seems like a pretty tight ship. I don't think I'll be able to disguise myself in this doctor's coat without raising any suspicions. Mm -hmm. But let's just see if there's anything in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nothing. Oh well. It was worth a try. Nice bag. I'm guessing it belongs to whomever owns the coat. Someone left a pair of shoes just thrown on the ground here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we've got in here. Hmm, nothing much except a pair of shoes. They look like they might fit. Well, it's a start. Someone looked at these are a pair of men's shoes. They're too big for me. Take as many shoes as possible. This bottle says it's Achilles brand floor cleaner. The label on this tin says it's Astro brand powder disinfectant cleanser. Looks soft and clean. All right. I've already got a bucket and I'm not in the mood to start cleaning anything up. But if you could have two buckets. I'm not about to start mopping floors. Anyway, let's see. <laughs> I haven't got a complete outfit yet. Nope, not yet. Locked, of course. Locked, of course. Locked, of Looking course. Looking forward to hearing her say that a lot of, a bunch of times. Locked, of course. All right. Locked, of course. Locked, of course. This one is empty. But I can see the lock mechanism, and it's surprisingly simple. It shouldn't be too tough to jimmy one of these open. I just need something thin to get in the doorframe. Aha! Uh -huh. Locked, of course. Oh, we have a card. Astro Brand Disinfectant Bleach Powder. Simply pour on stains, scrub, and watch them vanish. Warning, do not use on silver, painted surfaces, walls, aluminum, or rubber. Ooh. Achilles brand floor cleaner. Achilles has no weaknesses when it comes to fighting dirt. Warning, flammable. Ooh. Do not store at temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius. It's nice and soft and surprisingly clean. Okay. How many places can this card get us? Empty. Too bad. Nothing in here but a soggy old towel. Definitely not interested in that. Always gotta know where your towel is. There are clothes in here, but they're way too big for me. Aha! This set of clothes looks promising. 
empty, apart from some old chewing gum wrappers. Nothing worth taking in here. Nothing boring. Nothing worth taking. Nothing in here but a soggy old towel. Definitely not interested in that. I think this will be a good enough disguise. I just need to find a decent place to put it on. Oh, you're in a locker room. Oh, I see they already combined it for you with your, with your <laughs> shoes. Right. I'd better make this quick. Oh, that was nice. I can't remember the last time I took a hot shower. Aha! A change of clothing! Dow! Okay, we are now wearing different clothing, although it is shaped very similarly to the other clothing. All they had to do was just recolor it a bit. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Uh, I'd like to see the name. Yeah. Nothing else. Thank you. Uh, please see. As we still don't yeah. let us do that. I'm sorry. You do not do your nothing else. Thanks. Thank you. Hey. Hey, now that's more like it. You blend right in. What can I help you with? Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. We now have approved duds. Which you know we could we could, we could use this for all manner of things. Uh, Welcome to guess we'll go in go ahead and go on into the office. Okay. Ugh. Ah! I'd hate to be that poor guy on the right. I'd hate to be a recruiting poster for the vaccine lottery. I can't deny it's an effective campaign. Just a wall rack with a bunch of Ministry of Medicine brochures. She looks bored. Who knows how long she's been waiting here. He doesn't exactly look thrilled to be here, but then I can't really blame him. <laughs> Another one of those handy Ministry directory terminals. Soothing. Although, to be honest, now I kind of have to go to the bathroom. Looks comfy. The aristocracy guiding tomorrow's youth. Uh. Just a wall wrap. I guess that goes into the doctor's office. I really hope this doesn't take too long. The window is closed, but I imagine the doctor's receptionist is back there somewhere. Mm -hmm. This seems like it might be interesting reading material. No need to push furniture around. Sometimes that's all we have is a need to push furniture around. Let's see. Ah! The mom! The M.O.M. And you! The M.O.M. and you! Building a better tomorrow! For over 25 years, the Ministry of Medicine has been providing nothing but the best in healthcare for citizens. With the support given by the population and their generous donation of time and resources, the Ministry has been able to make progress in great amounts. In great amounts. With continued support, it may be possible to reach pre-bomb conditions well within the next 5 to 10 years. We at the Ministry encourage you to consider donating whatever you can to whatever you can spare in order to further our research. In exchange, you will be provided with exclusive treatment options and resources 
unlike anything available to the lesser classes. Contact the ministry today to make your donations. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I already took a... Ostentatiousness. Looks comfy. This is comfortable, but kind of pointless right now. Yes, we can start talking to the other patients. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood to talk right now. I'm sure you understand. Hi there, I'm Amy. What? Oh, hello. I'm Robert. Was there something in particular you wanted? Not really. I was just saying hello. I see. Well, not to be rude, but I've got a lot on my mind. I'm not really in the mood for small talk. Okay, then. Forget I said anything. Okay. Yes, may I help you? I am beyond help. I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Do you have your appointment card? Uh, yes. It's right here. Great. Hmm. Amy Wellard. I don't seem to have you in the registry. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay, not a problem. Just fill out this form for me, have a seat, and we'll call you in shortly. Thanks. I'm just worried they're going to give him the maximum punishment. I don't know what to tell you. The aristocracy doesn't take kindly to that sort of thing. Have you been able to speak with him? No. They took him in for questioning yesterday. Not even family can see him until they decide what they're going to do. I guess the worst case scenario is he ends up in Rockwall for a few years. I can't believe he could be so selfish as to not even consider what this will do to his family. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to tell my grandchildren? No, your daddy won't be home for Christmas because he was selling counterfeit lottery tickets to poor people. Uh -huh. At least they'll know not to do what he did. Miss Wellard, you can go inside. Dr. Collins will be in to see you momentarily. Oh, oh. and if you need to schedule a follow-up appointment, don't forget to speak to me afterwards. Oh, good. Ah. A cross-section of a human head. Odd, but kind of fascinating. I remember having one of those when I was a kid. Too bad it broke. Uh, I'm going to have to dive out pretty soon, actually. Some body part or system that I'm completely unfamiliar with. Let me see. There's a lot of interesting looking stuff on this table. Yes. I, I, I just looked up and I realized it's 7.30 and I'm like, I should probably do some sort of evening thing. None of this um, makes any sense to me. Bodies aren't exactly my area of expertise. I've done a fair amount. Because, you know, it's like, I should probably... Apparently there's, like, the dinner thing needs to be done. I guess this must be an experiment of some kind. I might dive off and do that. Must be where the doctor washes his hands. As it grows late. I wonder who those are for. Hmm. That is a heck of a lot of books. Nice to know the doctor's well read yeah. at least. I think this is actually going to be a good place to stop for right now because that way we'll have more stuff to do when we get back. Pretty obviously, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think this is good. I think this is good. Will this take us out to... No, that'll just destroy everything that's happening. Hang on. Let me... Let me, let me go back to the menu. There we go. That's more calming. Excellent. Good, good. Oh, 
All right, thank you all very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Um, I uh, yeah, I just need to I need to dive out. Um, but uh, is uh, apparently apparently humans need to uh, to 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 do things like uh, like eating daily and that kind of thing. Apparently, um, so so that that needs to happen shortly. Uh, let's see. Um, what do we have happening? Not a lot. Not a lot is happening right now. Um, but stuff is happening soon. So I have, like, uh, still on alternate Thursdays, I'm uh, going to start uh, playing uh, another text adventure with Luchi. Um, that one's going to be Deadline uh, from Inficom. That was an early game that they did. We're going to try that one. Um, I'm going to be playing this... Uh, more also again still alternate alternating with among trees and age of empires as we continue to slowly work through all of these um, and uh, let me see anything else happening well uh, there is a there is a campaign there's a tabletop campaign coming up timing not sure hopefully by the end of this month but real life keeps happening so you know you do what you can when you can and so that's all I've really got to report at the moment. But more stuff will perhaps happen soon. I just need to uh, see how I want to coordinate things. But I very much appreciate you folks coming and hanging out. And uh, I think that will be it for now. In the meantime, folks, thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you all of a sudden.